and Miss Martha Scott. Christmas time. Department stores are crowded. Cars and buses are tying up traffic. The city streets are jammed. Airline passengers by the thousands are zooming across the sky. We're now in the second half of the 20th century. And the holidays are a constant whirl of noise and motion. And the spirit of Christmas is still ringing in the air, as jubilant as ever. But wouldn't it be fun to have an old-fashioned Christmas? The kind of Christmas we've heard about and read about. The kind of Christmas our mothers and fathers used to have. A small and personal kind of Christmas. Telephone Orchestra, starring Jane Morgan, Earl Wrightson, Janet Angelo, Jeff Dambois, Melissa Hayden, Judy Rowland, and the Columbus Boy Choir. This is my town. What a comfortable old town it is. Oh, this is the old schoolhouse. My how time comes and goes. It was just a little while since I was in there learning geography and arithmetic. Now I'm teaching it. The town has changed some since I was a little girl, but not much. The drugstore has a new front on it. Oh, and the post office is in the building all by itself now. Not as it used to be, in a corner of the general store, next to the pickle barrel. Oh, ever, ever since I can remember, we've had this lovely old pine tree in the middle of the town square. All year long it stands here patiently waiting for the big night. And every Christmas Eve, the whole town turns out to decorate. Oh, uh, I'm Abigail Turner, and this is my cousin, Margaret Turner, who's hurrying home with her children. And, uh, the Hamiltons, who just bought this strange new contraption. <laughs> Jennifer Perry, whose father donated the library. And our handsome young lawyer, George Mills. And Amy Marsh, our pride and joy. She won first prize in the state high school singing competition. Yes, the whole town joins the festivities. Have yourself a merry little Christmas. Let your heart be thine. From now on, our troubles will be out of time. Have yourself a merry little Christmas. Keep the Yule Tide gay. From now on, our troubles will be miles away. Let your troubles be miles away.
Christmas morning when frosty was the weather. There I met an old man all dressed up in leather. All dressed up in leather. With a mask over his back. How do you do? Merry Christmas to you. And how do you do again? Says I. Holiday season has come again. Soon it will be 1910. But when I was a little boy, Christmas was cheerier. Those were the days back then. All the carriages rushed by. Man, give me the days before you were born. With the sound of a horse and buggy, not a clattering honking horn. Yes, let's have an old-fashioned Christmas as we did in the days gone by. Santa had snowflakes and sleigh rides and the star in a peaceful. Let's hear sleigh bells ring, let's hear carolers sing in the frosty winter night. Lots of kids and boys, all the wonderful joys, all the holidays and fun. Let's say it, oh, by the fire, with the friends that we hold so dear. Beginning to look a lot like Christmas Everywhere you go Take a look in the five and ten Glistening once again With candy canes and silver lanes aglow It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas Toys in every store but the prettiest sight to see is the holly that will be on your own front door. A pair of shiny new boots and a pistol that shoots is the wish of Barney and Ben. Dolls that will talk and will go for a walk is the hope of Janice and Jen. And mom and dad can hardly wait for school to start again. It's beginning to look on like Christmas. Everywhere you go. One in the park as well The sturdy guy that doesn't mind the snow It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas Till the bells will start And the thing that will make them ring Is the carol that you sing fond memories of this big old playroom. How many Christmas Eves it seems, how many generations of Turner children have peered up this chimney flue, dubiously measuring its small space against the circumference of the Santa Claus. My cousin Margaret and I played here as children. Of course, we played by gas lights. Now they have electric lights. And these are Margaret's children, two of my favorite pupils. Donald, who's wonderful at long division and terrible at French. And Emily, who draws the most unusual horses. <laughs> so 
sometimes I think of all the Christmas Eves there have been in the world, of all the many different children in all the many different houses who've hung their stockings and on all the many different fireplaces, never doubting for a moment that when they waken in the morning, they'll find them full of good things. And I can't help feeling that no matter how the world may change, the simple gesture of hope and trust will go on and on.
gingerbread men. Every year this window's just full of them. Mr. Hamill's bakery, what would we do without it? There hasn't been a wedding or a birthday in 20 years without one of his cakes presiding. There isn't a child in town who doesn't know the joy on a winter's day of running into this warm, delicious bakery shop to buy a sugar bun and to listen to one of his amazing stories. I still remember one he told us about one Christmas Eve. It was late at night. The snow was falling thick and fast. A stranger was hurrying through the deserted town square, and he suddenly noticed that one of the some of the snowflakes were not falling to the ground, but were swirling in the air, clinging together and forming a figure. And soon he saw the most glorious woman standing there, all dressed in white. She told him she was the Snow Queen, but he laughed at her. So she turned him into a prince, and he fell madly in love with her and carried her off to the snow palace, and he was never seen again.
Christmas Day means open house, the singing of carols, plum cakes and presents, and people bundled to the ears trudging happily through the snow. At least, uh, most of us trudge through the snow. Some of us insist on traveling in style. <laughs> but sooner or later, everyone gets to the Everett house. We're very proud of this house. It's the oldest one in town, a landmark, built by great-grandfather Everett when he was a young man. Today, Grandpa and Grandma Everett are the town's favorite citizens. And a Christmas, a family gathering here means just about everybody. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. We all love a pretty pony, we all love a pretty pony, we all love a pretty pony, so bring some right here. We won't go until we get some, we won't go until we get some, we won't go until we get some, so bring some right here. Oh, my God. 
light When they let me up the people stop And you should see how their eyes pop Little star, little star, little monkey Enjoy a happy holiday from Jeffrey Street thing about this town is the sharing. The sharing of each other's joys and sorrows, the sharing of achievements, of celebrations, and the sharing of faith. Beyond the tinsel and the holly wreaths, beyond the toys and the festivities and the plum puddings, there's always a sense of something profound that once touched the hearts and minds of men and was never to be forgotten. Every Christmas we gather here to share this experience. We have music and a pageant in the church. All of us take part in it, some by performing, others by watching and listening.
Abiding in the field, keeping watch over their flocks by night. And lo, the angel of the Lord came upon them, and the glory of the Lord shone about them. They were sore afraid. And the angel said unto them, Fear not, for behold, I bring you tidings of great joy, which shall be to all people. For unto you is born this day in the city of David, a Savior, which is Christ the Lord. And this shall be a sign unto you. Ye shall find the babe wrapped in swaddling clothes, lying in the manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly host, praising God and saying,
And it came to pass as the angels were gone away from them into heaven. The shepherds said to one another, Let us go now even unto Bethlehem and see this thing which has come to pass, which the Lord hath made known to us. And they came in haste and found Mary and Joseph and the babe lying in a manger. will be able to look back and remember the joy of giving and sharing and the simple beauty of an old-fashioned Christmas. Merry Christmas.